Let's take a look at our first trading volatility lookout for this point on for next week, which is the week starting Monday, the 8th of January. And we're taking a look at the beginning of the fourth quarter earnings season in the United States. Uh, we've got uh, a big list of banking stocks to report on Friday, which could give us uh, some volatility in the markets, which will be an opportunity for us traders. We've got Citigroup, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, BNY Mellon, JP Morgan Chase, and United Health, all pretty much all session stocks on the IG platform. And you can trade those individually. But I want to bring up a chart of the S&P 500 because I think this is where we could well see some interesting moves. Now, we're a week away uh, from this, so there is potentially a lot of water to pass under the bridge. But I think if we do get a close below this uh, Fibonacci line of support at the 61.8% retracement at 46.35, there's potential more downside to go. What I think worries people more than anything else is the fact that we've got these banks in a bit of a dark corner. Now, the only bank that is doing well out of what's happening is JP Morgan Chase. Now, this stock has seen an all time record high in the trading day on the Thursday this week. It's a week and one day away from the time it uh, produces earnings. JP Morgan is one of the few banks that's really making some decent money out of interest rate rises and what little M&A activity there is around and also the trading opportunities. So JP Morgan Chase is to say one of the uh, uh, biggest banks in the world and one of the most uh, uh, obvious upside potentials. But with Citigroup, Bank of America, Wells Fargo uh, all reporting next week along with JPM, it could well be a day of volatility for the main markets.